uh, my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker this evening, Siamak Hariri. Um, as a founding partner of Hariri Pontarini Architects, uh, Siamak has been internationally recognized as one of Canada's leading architects. For more than 10 years, Siamak has not only directed the firm's competition-winning schemes, but also has been the partner in charge of projects garnering over 35 national and international awards of excellence in architecture. CMX projects have featured in various books and publications around the globe. He has taught uh, at the University of Toronto's Faculty of Architecture, Landscape and Design as an adjunct professor. He sits on the boards of the Royal Ontario Museum's Institute of <coughs> Contemporary Culture, the Toronto Art Council, the Toronto Community Foundation, and the Waterfront Design Review Panel. He has also lectured and participated as a juror extensively across North America and Europe. This year, he served as a member of the jury of the 2012 Governor General's Medals in Architecture. CMAC brings an enormous passion to every development project, and I'm just delighted that he is leading our design team. Um, and it really is uh, an absolute pleasure to have him here with us tonight. So, CMAC Career, really thank you. think how I might begin uh, this presentation because uh, it's very difficult to actually communicate uh, sincerely the level of appreciation and privilege that one feels participating in a project like this because it's sort of, it's sort of, the, it's sort of the kind of project that you, uh, you know, that you enter architecture for and that when you're in it and you're working with the people, it, um, it con continuously uh, sort of reminds you of that and watching the kind of dedicated people receiving the awards and the spirit of this evening, uh, rem you know, once again, kind of like a gobsmacked, uh, reminded me that this is really such a profound undertaking in the city and as part of this Really wonderful group. Uh, we, you know, yes, architectural stunning, but really the the bigger uh, issue for us is, of course, the building. Of course, has to deal with program and it has to do with you know incredibly good thinking around wise spending and functionality. But really. What we're after is the kind of soul of the idea, you know, what is the spirit that one feels when one enters a building like this? And we had uh, kind of a continuous, we, uh, luckily we've had time on our hands, and so it was really good to really uh, struggle with this. And what is the spirit of the project? What is the feeling that one has? What is the atmosphere of this kind of a project? Uh, how do you create a kind of new model for healthcare, right? And really, it, it, it continuously came back to us that this one image that we put up, which was so nice to see the two doctors embracing, you know, reminded me that this is what really we are after, is the kind of level of care, the atmosphere of love, the kind of spirit that that kind of an embrace uh, can hopefully uh, manifest in architecture. Uh, from very early on, we kept talking about what does this embrace mean? What could this embrace mean? What are the possibilities of this idea of embrace? And we kept putting this, this, this together because with 571 and the old house on Jarvis uh, and the new the kind of possibilities of embracing old and new, existing and future, history, and the kind of looking forward, the whole idea of both being, can we create a place which is a refuge and has privacy and has intimacy, but at the same time not be uh, unabashed about what its purpose is within, this, within the city, and that kind of balance between being both exposed and, and visible and transparent, but also accommodating the kind of privacy and the needs for uh, security that, that a program like this. So all of these things kept resonating with us on this word embrace. 
I love this uh, Klimt image, and I want to keep bringing it back to ourselves because uh, it also has this level that we're after, which is about uh, a level of delicacy um, uh, and um, a kind of sophisticated uh, approach to um, uh, this uh, spirit of warmth. And uh, many times we've heard members of the board, Stephanie, Karen, all the wonderful kind of sessions we have that keep coming back to this idea that don't forget this has to be a warm atmosphere.